Well, greetings everyone, and here again, I want to take just a few minutes of your time to bring a word of hope and encouragement to you. I understand that a lot of you are going through some trials and tribulations, but I want you to know that we are praying for all of you. We are praying for a city, our county, for our region, in spite of the reports that we hear that there are... A, uh, increasing numbers of COVID-19 in our county, we're still standing before God and believing that He has a divine plan and praying for His divine intervention. We're holding you, each one of you, up in prayer. And I want you to know that, that God will deliver us from all this. But, you know, having said that, I think it's a time of prayer. It's a time where the church needs to come before God in faith and know and understand the power of prayer but also the, plow, the power of thanksgiving in our prayers. I remember as a child, and many of you remember Sister Rosalie, one of the first things that she taught us was the Lord's Prayer. She made sure we knew how to recite that prayer and knew it by heart. And uh, it's found in the Gospel of Luke chapter 11. And uh, it's actually a template on how we should pray to God, our Father. But I want you to look at something in, in that prayer, in the Our Father, Father that, that we call it as such. It's found in verse 3. Jesus taught us to pray. Give us day by day our daily bread. You know, I've often wondered, Jesus, why did you ask us to pray, give us our daily bread? Why didn't you say, give us our daily steak or give us whatever daily? But he chose bread for a particular reason. Bread was actually a staple of the first century church of and uh, in their diet. So bread in this sense actually speaks of everything that you need in your daily life. It speaks of your finances, a roof over your head, your health, your peace, your joy, whatever it is that you need daily in your life. Jesus is actually saying, have faith in God, the Father, and come to him every day and ask him for that daily need in your life. And Jesus is telling us, showing us in this prayer, that it's a template for our prayer life. Notice that Jesus says daily bread, not monthly bread, not yearly bread. Having said that, the Lord will sometimes allow things to happen in our lives that reminds us of our need daily of Him. You might be going through that some, through something right now. Suddenly you're facing a financial crisis or you've had a health scare, relational problem. Whatever the daily need in your life God says, have faith, come to me, and ask for that daily need. And suddenly you're dealing with things this year that you never imagined. You're saying, God help me. How many of us saying goodbye to 2019 and hello to 2020 would have ever imagined that we would be facing a pandemic, riots in the street, and other things that have happened in your life? So we come to this place where we do say, God help us. And sometimes, you know, he allows allows these things to remind us that he's actually the provider of everything that we need. He provides everything that we have in life. So we need to come to him each and every day, not just asking for things, but actually giving him glory for the things that he already has given us and provided. So let me ask you a question. When is the last time you simply prayed a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of thanks, saying, Lord, thank you for this in my life. Thank you for providing. Thank you for my spouse. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for my job. Thank you for the ability to go out and look for a job, whatever it may be. But isn't it time that we cry out to God in our sorrow and pain? But not only that, but isn't it time that we thank Him for the things that He has provided? Isn't it time that we call on the Lord for His provision, His protection, His guidance? and give thanks to the Lord for the joys that He has given us and His provision. I think sometimes we get so caught up in what we lack that we fail to look at what He has already provided us. See, God wants to provide everything you need daily in life, and He wants you to bring your needs before Him each and every day. So I just want to encourage you that this day, stop looking at what you don't have, and start looking at what you do have, and start thanking God, but then follow it up by saying, God, give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread of joy, of peace, of financial prosperity, of whatever it may be. So let us pray right now. Father, we want to thank you for sending Jesus the first time to die for our sins. Thank you for sending Jesus into our heart to comfort and to strengthen us and to transform our lives. 
Thank you, Jesus, for the hope that we have today through you for a better tomorrow. And we thank you that today, because you are in our lives, we are better than yesterday. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us towards your will. And we thank you, Jesus Christ, for our salvation. And Lord, help us that we don't want to get angry at what we don't have, but we want to thank you for providing for what you have already provided. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are and all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you again.